Hi everybody! So today's just a really cute, fun, easygoing makeup look. It's a little dressy, so it still gives you that sort of fun pop. This might be good for like a casual Friday, um, a night out. If you're somebody who's used to neutrals, this is a fun way to play with color um, while still being sort of neutral. Um, I think in the spring and summer, more or less, we prefer to kind of go to our neutrals because they're more, I guess, refreshing in tone. They're more playful. They let our faces be seen. And at the same exact time, it's a way to do makeup without really fully doing a full heavy sort of cake face of makeup, which just isn't practical for spring and summer. So that was really my uniform all during Palm Springs. I really did have a lot of fun playing around with my fashion, my hair, hats, headbands. If you look at my Instagram, you will get to see all my fun outfit of the days. And um, yeah. Um, and I have been doing a little clothing shopping lately, which isn't entirely practical because I don't exactly have every place in the world to wear them because I wear uniforms. But I'm trying to be better about doing one thing differently each day, just having fun and being with myself, getting out of the house, and definitely trying to make plans and open myself up more or less to I guess people in my yoga studio and stuff, so I actually have a place to, you know, wear them and uh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. ramble, ramble, ramble. Thank you so very much for watching my channel again. And as always, um, there will be the clothing haul for Palm Springs coming up. Just thought we'd take a little breather and do basically the makeup I wore. Some of the makeup I did pick up in Palm Springs, and that's that. Okay, so to get started on today's eye look, I have already taken the Cebu Beauty C Buckthorn H Define Eye Cream, blended that from the lids to the brow bone. For eye primer, I am taking the Gabrielle Eye Primer in the shade Neutral. That's from my lid to my brow bone and just a little bit in the crease. You need less in the crease because you don't want to get creasing. For the look, I'm starting off with Josie Moran's Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Rio de Rose Gold. And what you really need to do is just kind of shake this so that the coconut water and the pigment is together. This has just this little doe foot applicator. We're gonna apply it like we would a basic cream shadow. Sometimes cream shadows have just like the weirdest applicators. It can be anything from a roller ball to a pot to a it's a very fun sort of casual day look. If doing your finger is too much for you, you can always take a fluffy blender brush and just sort of bounce it the way I am bouncing my finger. On the eyeshadows, I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and we're starting off with the Real Techniques Blending Brush and this white chocolate color. And we're just gonna blend this underneath the arch of the brow bone and then bring it downwards. I'm now taking the Salted Caramel Eyeshadow and placing this in the crease. And then we're just going to blend this into the socket bone. You don't need to do a harsh line throughout the entire socket. It'll just be way too intense. I'm now going to be taking Semi Sweet. Once you get the hang of this palette, the colors are so memorable. <laughs> it's part of the fun of this palette. I'm now going to be taking Semi Sweet. And we're just going to be placing this in the inner socket very low. Now I'm taking Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Eye Pencil and Feather. I'm going to need a new one soon. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Sometimes I buy way too ahead of time and then I have a product sitting around for like six months. For gel liner, I definitely like to manipulate it my way. So I always pick a much smaller brush than I had in the past. I've been doing seven, the 760 from Delane Tools as well as even more fine <laughs> tipped brushes than this. So for the gel liner, I'm taking the Young Blood Mineral Cosmetics. It's one of the few really amazing gel liners I've come to find that's incredibly uh, vegan and um, it's basically usually fairly easy to find. More than, web more than one website sells it. I found mine on SkinOne.com. Hold it close to my face so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Very up close 
do not want to leave room for error when it comes to my eyeliner because I, I like eyeliner. I like it when it's perfect. Get it, get right up into your outer corner. It's going to be the way your eye naturally folds or where it naturally closes. You actually do have an inner and an outer tear duct. You have a very similar space in the front and in the back, shaped slightly differently, but overall the same idea. So you want to pull that wing out right between the gaps of your eyelashes, the upper and lower lashes. And this, I like to do little feathery strokes to sort of pull my eyeliner in. I think when you're trying to get one perfect straight line, it sucks. I've heard many people in my life say, I can't be an artist because I can't draw a straight line and in art, we don't ever really draw straight lines unless you have a ruler. So that theory is out the window. Just do little feathery strokes until you get it. For the wing in the outer corner, there's various methods I like to use. Well, first off would be acknowledging where my outer corner is, knowing my eye shape perfectly and then doing a little outline for the wing. This will give me that moment to be like, okay, are those dead on? I keep getting questions about this um, Cover FX CC cream and I still have enough left. So let's go ahead and have, uh, use it in this tutorial since I don't really think I've utilized this foundation in, that, in any tutorials. I haven't been doing as many tutorials. I've also been very busy and I've just noticed that people have lost an interest in tutorials. So I haven't recorded as many as I used to, but I'm going to go ahead and do it today. And we're taking the Dying Tools 957 and we're just going to go ahead and stipple on this. I use the shade N Light. This runs um, in the neutrals, it runs in the deep colors and into the pink family. And now I usually do use yellows, um, yellow undertone foundation. Their yellow undertone foundation was way, way, way too um, jarring a yellow for my complexion, so I went with the neutral and it still is fairly on the yellow scale. This CC cream is not a moisturizing CC cream. It's more or less like a cream to powder. Um, not even truly lightweight coverage. It's actually got a lot more coverage than most very, or what is said to be a lightweight product. So I just sprayed the Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science Clementine C Plus Illuminating Toner and pouncing the Beauty Blender excuse me, over the top of that. I don't want it to crease in my fine lines and because this does set so cream to powder almost like really quickly, I really want to sort of use the toner to sort of revive the foundation. Now taking the chocolate bar yet again, I'm going to be going in with Marzipan, which is this shimmery sort of uh, rosy gold color. And, uh, well rosy, yeah, I guess, well, sort of a sand duny color. We're just gonna place that underneath the eyes. And then I'm also going to go ahead and take salted caramel. And we're going to place that under the eyes as well. I actually like this underneath the eyes. It just sort of warms up the eyes, gives a kindness to them as well as a contour to them. If you think warmth underneath your eyes makes you look sick, go in with a different color. I've already given you the reasons why I like the warmth under the eyes, but you got to be comfortable. I'm now going to be going ahead and taking my Pacifica. This is the Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara. I have the shade Supernova. And it is a gorgeous pitch black. Um, I know a lot of people do not love this, so just something to bear in mind. Mascaras are all made slightly differently, and everybody's got um, different hair, skin, and nails. So what may work for me may not work for you. And that's just unfortunately the sad truth. Now in the interest of saving time on the brush cleaning, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the highlight first because the blush is so pigmented that I don't want it to get all dirty. I'm not taking the Pumpkin Poppy Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil in the shade Celestial and just really sort of buffing that in. Let it correct the perfections, let it illuminate the skin. This is the perfect highlighter for that. Um, it's a dupe of the hour, one of the Hourglass colors in a way. It's still a very unique product. It's not exactly like Hourglass. There's a very uh, amazing, cool pa uh, pigment in here that Hourglass isn't using. 
that gives you that gorgeous soft focus finish. Uh, I love the Hourglass powders, but they're a little pricey, so I think some of us would prefer the price on that one more, it being about $11. Um, I'm now going to go ahead and take the IT Cosmetics Vitality Cheek Flush in the shade Matte Sweet Apple, and this is the pigmented blush I was talking about. And the IT Cosmetic Blush Line is very subtle, nothing extremely over the top. To me, this is the most fun blush in the whole collection. I love the way it works, and if the other blushes work similarly, I'll probably have to go back and get more of those colors. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going to be taking Silk Naturals Organic Lipstick in the shade Lois, and this is just a really beautiful um, natural, kind of like a peony pink. very pretty and now I'm going to be taking in glass sleeks in 35 and just putting that on top I think it goes gorgeously with the um, with the blush so I'm looking like I need to reposition my vanity my mirror my everything and I need to do a lot of uh, a lot of cleanup I actually want to feng shui this room and my bedroom so hopefully I can get on that when my energy starts to skyrocket. Right now I am training to do um, a record-breaking yoga pose at some festival. That's not why my energy is down. It's actually going to skyrocket shortly. I'm not killing myself to train for that. I'm just making sure I have enough stamina to stand in it, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I've just had a lot of goings on and hopefully Whew, it'll um, it'll settle down and I'll feel more myself. So I thought I'd do a little break and then we'll go back to that. All right, see you guys later. Thank you again so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.